Good morning. It's Lorraine Purcell, your fairy godmother. Just breathe deep, belly breath. This is the time when we connect to Mother Earth. Hi, Anne, my darling. Yay, girlfriend. We connect to the earth, deep into the earth. We connect way up to the sky and we go wide into the quantum field. Today's the day and we set our intention. So I am very, very, very happy to be here with you and so excited about this coming weekend where I'm gonna be doing the More of Me workshop. Yes, where we're gonna get the tools to move you through self-consciousness, self-doubt, fear, shyness, everything that's holding you back from being you because you know what? The world is waiting for you. So to register and get all the details, go to LorrainePurcell.com forward slash, hi my darling, I love you too, forward slash more dash of dash me. And I'm going to put that in the comments right now dub 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 dot Lorraine Purcell dot com oops did that wrong Lorraine Purcell dot com L O R R A I N E P U R S E L L dot com forward slash more of me and if you're concerned about for workshop live coaching coming Sunday if you're concerned about the time zone I've had uh, somebody sign up from Australia and hi Susan so nice to see you good morning if you're concerned about your time zone don't worry there will be a recording provided and if you can't make it live just email me or private message me um, your question and I'll answer it uh, in the video call, but I'm so excited because I get to hear your voice. I get to coach you real time on whatever it is that's holding you back from being you because the world is waiting for you. The world is actually incomplete without your peace. And I know personally, there are so many things. Hi, honey. There are so many things that can hold us back. I've gone through so many of them just in putting out this workshop, which is hilarious. I don't understand that at all, but it doesn't matter. Sometimes I think I go through things just so I can remember what it's like for my clients because I have been through so much. But here I am now. I keep showing up. I keep giving. It's not about me. It's about the message. So it's just my job to get the message out and it's not about me. <laughs> so that really helps. But the world is waiting for you. That's the point I want to make. The world is waiting for you. So go to LorrainePurcell.com forward slash more dash of dash me and register for this fabulous event. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. So let's take a deep breath and just ground into Mother Earth. So I just feel that that cord come off your tailbone, off your sips bones, off your feet and go all the way deep into Mother Earth and just send your nourishment. Ask her what she requires of you today. What does she need from you today? 
What does Mother Earth need from you today? <sighs> Just see her, feel her love. So much strength. Mother Earth is a living, breathing entity. It's not just a thing. It's a le Hi, Stacy. Good morning. So glad you're here. So good to see you. Mother Earth is a living, breathing entity, not just a stationary thing. There is nothing that's not alive. There is nothing that's not alive. And speaking of that, when you're registered for the webinar, I'm sorry, the workshop this coming Sunday, it will be recorded so that you will have the energy because that's what I'm bringing is the energy, the energy. I'm an energy mover. I'm an energy healer. You'll have the energy to access and the tools to access whenever you need instant access whenever you need so don't worry if you can't make it live but i'm so excited to be able to talk with you guys versus this where it's just typing right and you can either be on camera or off camera you don't have to be on camera and you also don't have to say anything you can just be there and just soak up the energy um so Oh, that's at LorrainePurcell.com forward slash more dash of dash me. Deep breath all the way down. Just see what Mother Earth's message is for you. God, I just feel so much energy from her today. What is her message to you? What is Mother Earth's message to you right now? Hmm. And then when you get your message from Mother Earth, go ahead and put it in the comments. When I put Mother Earth's message, it's M-E, <laughs> which says me. Mm. Keep going strong. you so mother earth just said to me keep going strong I've got you yes and as soon as you get her message drop it in the comments to bring it from the ethereal back into the grounded groundedness by writing Yes, yes, yes. And come on up to the bottom of your feet. We're going to do a counterclockwise swirl with this beautiful white light energy all the way up. Stand your ground, stand strong. Fabulous, Susan. Congratulations on hearing her so clearly. All the way up, all the way up. We're effervescing energy through every single cell and molecule of our body. All the atoms. Oh. But mostly the space, the space, because we are, even though we have those cells, we're, we're really 99.999% space, energy, okay? So it's our expectation that causes us to be what we see when we look in the mirror. So... We're sending light and love to every single part of us, every single part of us. Our blood balancing our alkaline levels, moving our lymph system. Listen to your body. What is it wanting from you? What does your body want from you? And as you're coming up, start to notice what your intention might be. Just start to gather in all those little threads from the ethers, from the universe. Just bring them all in to where they become like this rope for your intention. As we keep going up through our organs, we're balancing our organs. Hmm. 
everything in our bodies are working in harmony. Anything, let's do a couple inhales, exhales. Everything that serves us, we're gonna inhale, light and love. And we're gonna exhale. Everything that's not serving us. So inhale, light and love. Knowing who we are, feeling confident giving our gifts no matter what, following our soul's inspiration all day long, all week long, getting really strong with that. And exhale, self-consciousness, self-doubt, fear, questioning ourselves, all of those things. We're just gonna let them out. Again, inhale, everything light and love, who you are, and we're gonna exhale, everything that's not serving us and serving our purpose. You have a purpose on the planet. You have a purpose on the planet. And uh, this is what we're gonna be going into on Sunday, this coming Sunday on the workshop. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to just start putting this work out into the world in this way. It's brand new for me. And um, if you've been following me, you know that I've been through a lot of terrors about doing this. And I'm on the other side of it now. Not that I won't get more, but you know, fear is excitement without the breath. That's from Fritz Perls. He's a renowned psychiatrist. And um, fear is excitement without the breath. So every time we feel that fear, we're just gonna take a really deep breath. And again, and again, and not make it about us. Okay, just not make it about us and just give our gift. It's that simple. Okay, now we're gonna bring in the energy from source. From the top of our head, we have a white light cone and you can just feel it come down. All of a sudden, my third eye is aching. There's some movement going on there, so I'm just feeling it. All the way down through your third eye, your throat chakra, your communication center, your heart area. Just feel it illuminating your heart area. Down into your solar plexus, just illuminating your solar plexus. Activating all these parts that we remember who we are all day long and are in our power and our graceful strength. And our creativity center, our second chakra, and then our pelvic floor, our dantian, the first chakra, the survival, the, the actually where it all began. So this is send love, 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 love. And I'm feeling feet now. So just send love to your feet love to your feet. Last night I, I had a very vigorous day yesterday and I got in a bath with a quart of Epsom salts, four cups of Epsom salts and it just, I spent 20 minutes with my back in and then 20 minutes with my back up so my legs were in and it just helped so much. So just see if there's something like that that your body wants and needs from you. Okay, so Let's set your one intention for the week. What is your one intention for the week? And again, if you write it in the comments, it's going to ground it and take it out of the ethers and into the physical. You know, this is a new concept I'm learning, but source needs us. God needs us to move um, the angelic, the etheric, is beautiful and wonderful and guess what they need us so that's why I'm I'm all about bringing you into your power because I want you to shine I want you to be your best I want you to um, give your gifts it's really important because source is the world is waiting for you this is not a joke or just something nice to say the world is waiting for you for your contribution to the planet Okay, so what is your one intention this week? My one intention is to be deeply connected to my soul, to hear my soul very easily, um, and 
to just keep aligning for the workshop on Sunday. So I'm going to drop it in the comments. Intention. Deeply. Can you guys hear those birds? six birds out there on my tree that almost blew over in the hurricane. <laughs> Intention. Deeply connect with hear and obey my soul. Stay in preparation. Stay in preparation, oh, for workshop. Sunday. That's my intention. Deeply connect with, hear, and obey my soul. Stay in preparation for workshop. Okay. Yes. Hi, Elizabeth. Oh, yes. Susan, generate love and focus on self-love. Yes. You can never go wrong with that. I'm just hearing more and more about self-love now, and I'm so glad that it's going deeper beyond, oh yeah, I love myself. I'm gonna get my hair and my nails done. It's like, that makes me wanna throw fucking up. Hi, Lorraine, catching you on my drive to work this morning. I'm so proud of you, Elizabeth. Oh God, I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to catch up and hear all about your job. Okay, yes, 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 yes. And I'm so excited you're joining me for the workshop. Yes! It's going to be so much fun. Oh my God, it's going to be so much fun. Because here's the thing. I, I've dropped the, the term Earth Angel because it still reeked to me a victim mentality. It still had victim in there. Like, we're these angels and we're here to save the planet. And it's just like, oh, I just had to drop it. My term is ultra sensitives. Ultra sensitives. We are ultra sensitives, but we're becoming powerful ultra sensitives. And um, here's the thing. We're so sensitive. We feel everything. We sense everything. We're all healers, if you didn't know. We are all healers. The trick is to stay in our ultra-sensitive spot with our hearts open, but with clear boundaries. This is the, yes, Elizabeth, it's gonna be so amazing. If you know anybody else who could use this energy, who would love to be in this, please share the link with them. So keeping these boundaries in place so that we feel safe to keep our heart open and keep feeling everything because what is devastating to us as ultra sensitives which by the way us which means us because it's us we are like the ultra sensitive nation that i am rising up where we take our beauty because it is such beauty such beauty that we bring and keep our hearts open without shutting down and being really careful what we let in through our eyes and what we let in through our ears and who we let come into our aura. Totally being in control of that. And I am your fairy godmother. I've got my crystal ball and I've got my wand. So yes, your intention 
Yes, 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 yes. Drop your intention in here, and now we're going to go into the quantum field. And I'm also going to draw a card. So let's go into the quantum field. The quantum field means, <laughs> you guys, I just have this miracle I'm going to share with you. I have been going into the quantum field every single day for the last seven months with my women over in um, my, one of my private groups. Every single day going into the quantum field with them. And it was for a certain amount of money. And that money is coming in. <laughs> coming in in a big way. Um, out of surprise. Just out of surprise, out of nowhere. But I kept feeling this energy that I'm talking to you about today. I kept feeling this energy as if I was in it. Every time I would drive, there's this one little drive I take where I go between these two banks. That One of them I can see right outside my house. The other one... When I go out this drive, they're both there, and I would picture and feel a certain amount of money in each of those accounts, each of those banks. I don't have accounts there yet, but I would see myself in it, and then I, as a secondary, I would see myself in my Porsche Macan. And um, I would just feel it every time, and it would raise my vibration, and I would be that person. And so, out of the blue, two sources of big sources of money are coming in. And it's like, wow, this stuff really works, you guys. It's not just airy-fairy, stupid stuff to waste our time and pretend that we're somewhere other than planet Earth. We are creators, and universe is just waiting for our desire so it can create it. Okay, so into the quantum we go, which just means I go into the universe, or I go in, so the blackness of the universe, some people say the black behind your eyes, I just go into feeling, well, okay, there are two ways to do it, and actually you can use both, but when we go into the quantum field, we're going into a place where we are nobody, there's nobody, there's no one, there's nothing, we're nowhere in no time and no space. We're just connected to everything, connected to the web of life, okay? So it's nothing personal about us. And this is a very powerful place to be in, okay? So it's this place of non-resistance, no friction, okay? So we're just gonna go and just be in this place where you're not you, but you are you. You're not you, but you are you. That, that, that will not make sense, okay? And in all of my things, I invite you to disconnect from your brain and come down into your body and just accept it on a soul and a vibrational level. All right? So just, just float in what you can also picture yourself just floating in a stream of well being where it's warm and there's no problems and you're just in this lovely, lovely spot, okay? So just whatever you need to just feel good is the bottom line. All right. So, <sighs> just go into that place where it's not about you. You're just an empress. You're just a magician in the universe, okay? And from that place of peace, just feel the essence of being where it is you want to be in whatever it is you want to be doing. See, when I have my wealth, it will be a demonstration of all the service that I'm giving to the world and setting millions of ultra sensitives free to express themselves. This will be the fulfillment and the satisfaction of the wealth. This is the satisfaction of the wealth. Okay, I don't just want, I just don't want the money. I want it to be to reach more people and get my message into the hands of more and more and more ultra sensitives who think they're depressed, think they're bipolar, think they have problems, but they really don't. It's all your ultra sensitivity and shining light on what those conditions that 
may have been diagnosed by the well-meaning professionals in the world. <sighs> and just setting them free into owning their gifts, owning those mental storms, just letting them pass through, understanding what those thoughts are, letting them just be. So my wealth is about that and giving back more and more and more and more and more. I'm just a channel for the money. I'm just a channel for the wealth. I'm just a channel for the wealth. As it flows through me. Yes, 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 yes. You can borrow this if you want. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful um, imagination. And as we feel it in our body, as we become this person in our imagination and feel the vibration, we actually pull it to us by being in the feeling, being in the imagination and just say yes to it and just trust, just trust, just trust. And go ahead and drop that dream in here. Here's the thing. Ultra sensitives dream big, and that's part of the reasons we feel depressed is because we don't see it happening when we had such big hopes. There is a method and a purpose. There is a method and a way to work with this, and that's what I'm. Gonna, those are the tools I'm going to be going into this Sunday at the workshop. Go to LorrainePurcell.com forward slash more dash of dash me. LorrainePurcell.com forward slash more dash of dash me. Ah, oh, and register. If you can't make it live, no, no worries. It, you will have the recording to access the energy and the tools instantly whenever you need them. So I'll be going into all these tools that just will help you to own your beauty and to get past your fears, past what people think of you, past of other people's opinions, so that you can be the leader you're supposed to be, that you were meant to be. Because if you're in my community, you're a leader. You may not even think you're... Mary, good morning, darling. You may even think... Bye, my darling. See, have a wonderful day at work, Elizabeth. Um, you will have all these tools in one concise replay that I have gleaned and used and honed and simplified and used with my clients and they work. They work, they work. If you wanna um, understand depression, understand anxiety, understand panic, understand fear, and get to the other side of it so you can be use it for your power to let your gifts out. They're just things in front of you so that, to hold you back into a safe spot, okay? So we're about being safe and showing our gifts. Being safe and showing our gifts, okay? Being safe and giving our gifts. Being safe and giving our gifts and walking by faith and not by sight or by feelings. There's so much to this. There's so much to this. And Mary, I want to hear about your job. <laughs> Just thinking about that this morning. Okay, my loves, so just hold that feeling of what it is your, your dream. Hold that feeling of your big dream. Let's just go there. I don't want to do the, the diddly squat medium stuff. Let's go to the dream, the big dream, the one you came into the planet to give. Let's just hold that. <sighs> Be it in your imagination and just feel the energy of it. Use your faith. If, you, if you're scared, borrow my faith, okay? Got my crystal ball here for you. Got my magic wand here for you. Take your big dream into the quantum world, quantum field. Your big dream. Your big dream, guys. Your big dream. Don't fuck around with the stupid little stuff. If you don't align with that big dream, you're going to be depressed. We're dreamers. We're leaders. We are people here with a message. And when we deny ourselves that message, that's when we feel depressed. 
Oh, it's so powerful, you guys. Coming from someone who's felt depression my entire life. It's because I have a big dream. We can't help it. We're the dreamers. We're the dreamers. We're the lovers. We're the powerful ones on the planet. Do you understand this? We're the ultra sensitives. I'm so proud of you for owning your power. I'm so proud of you for owning your power. I'm so proud of you for owning your power and your strength and having the courage to believe again in your purpose. And I wanna invite you to look in the long run, not the immediate things and count those as manifestations, okay? Don't look at those as manifestations. I wanna invite you into the long distance view, okay? So as you hold this dream, you dare to have the courage to dream again, hold your dream, your big dream, that one that makes you afraid, that one that you're afraid other people will hear, that you're, you don't want other people to hear or know about. That thing, that thing. We're gonna let that come in. And just feel it, just bask in it, just be it. Oh, it's been a while since I've gone the really, really big one, so I'm doing that right now. Mm. Feeling my rainbow moonstone right now. Mm. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Do you know that whenever you see somebody and you're jealous of them, you feel a twinge of jealousy? It's because it's in you. <laughs> and the jealousy is you're just not letting it in, so it's stuck energy. Is that amazing? So when you think about all the people that you envy or you're, you, you like want to get, get catty about because, yeah, well, me, 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 it's because it's in you and you're just not letting it out yet. Okay, so you might even take an assessment of all the people that when you see them or you see them on live streams, or you see them on television, um, you go, oh. Oh. <laughs> it's because it's in you. And if you write them down and kind of analyze their traits, just think about what it is that you admire about them. And that's because it's in you. It's like frustrated energy. Okay, isn't that amazing? Oh, so just feel that fly on your magic carpet into that dream and just be that dream now. Be that dream now. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. put your hand on your heart put your hand on your heart as you as you dream it anchor it into your body Being fully in your feminine energy. Hmm. With the action of taking aligned action when it's time to pounce, okay? Think of the hawk and the tiger. When it's time, they pounce. They take what's theirs. I absolutely adore this time with you guys. I absolutely adore this time with you guys. 
Okay, so just anchor it in, wiggle your toes, own it. You might want to take a second and <laughs> write it in your journal. Just anchor it in. I'm going to go ahead and write mine. What did you see on your magic carpet ride? So excited. Oh, it's been a while since I let myself really go there. So thank you for your energy that helped me do that. <laughs> All right. Let's draw a card from Rebecca Campbell. Work your light. Work your light, sisters. Work your light. The world is waiting for your light. card it is. <sighs> mm. Okay, this is a big one. This is part of what we're going to be going into on Sunday in the workshop at LorainePurcell.com forward slash more dash of dash me. It says break the chain. And I pulled this randomly, so I think this is relating to somebody. And it says, Ancestral Patterns, Healing, Rewriting the Future. You guys, it's so important. So what was it, Break the Chain? Because we are breaking old DNA. When I saw that movie Camelot and was in terror for three days about being burned at the stake... I was breaking the chain of old energy. Break the chain 78. So Mary, would you send me an email about your job? I want to know how it's going. Break the chain. You are being called to heal your family line or free yourself from living a life, the life of your ancestors. I'm German Jewish. A lot of ancestral stuff there. This could mean letting go of an old pattern of your maternal or paternal line. I'm going to stand up and move my hips while I read this. Um, healing trauma of the past that is not even yours or observing old ways of being susan this came up in my reiki session rings true for me yes very good very good susan and this is what we're going to be going into in depth hi mandy oh my gosh so good to see you darling um this is what i'm going to be going into in depth on Sunday on the workshop. So if you haven't registered yet, go ahead over and do that at LorainePurcell.com forward slash more dash of dash me. Recording will be provided if you can't make us live and you will have it for always instant accessing the energy 
and the tools as we, and I'm gonna stay on that call as long as we need to to answer and coach everybody. Your questions will serve everybody because everybody has the same stuff, you guys. So that's why it's so important for us to come out because as we come out, we are setting free the planet. Ultra sensitives, us, ultra sensitives, we are the ones moving the energy of healing through the planet, okay? Um, so I'm going to be going into this ancestral stuff. I know that's why I got the burned at the stake thing um, not too long ago. Hi, Lorraine. Hope you're well. Just got back from swimming. Oh, how lovely. Okay. Um, healing trauma from the past that is not even yours or observing old ways of being that no longer serve you. We carry emotional trauma in our luminous field for up to seven generations back. Okay, so if you take your ancestral line, there was so much brutality seven generations back. <laughs> it was barbaric seven generations back. This is why family patterns can be the hardest to break. Often they are not even ours to begin with, but we do not know another way of being, and so we continue to play, continue playing out the drama. The thing to notice when ancestral healing comes up is that you cannot heal another person, but your own healing can cause another person to choose to heal. Energy is freed up. You are being guided now to look at your life and decide how you want to be. Quantum field, holding your big dream. I'm going to read that sentence again. You are being guided now to look at your life and decide how you want it to be. What ways of beings or patterns are you ready to free yourself from? Burn that shit. What pat what what ways of being or patterns am I ready to free myself from? Burn that shit. What part of your future do you want to rewrite? You can even rewrite your past. I might show that technique on Sunday too. It's really powerful. <gasps> Now is the time to shake them off and dream a new future into being. That's what we just did. Activate your light action. What old ways of being from your family line are you ready to let go of? For me, it's poverty. <sighs> I'd say poverty. I would, I would say the hunkering down and continuing to go is a strength, so I'm going to leave that one. Oh, wow, I just noticed that the, the ferns hanging from my elm tree are repositioned from the hurricane. They're like two feet lower. I don't know. Wow, what if the branches are falling? They bent. Seek assistance from your support team, tribe, friends, healers, coach, etc., and begin freeing yourself from it now. Whoo, powerful ladies, powerful. Well, I will see you on Friday for um, Body Talk Friday. You'll be hearing from me this week with um, videos about the workshop on Sunday. And I'm sending you all my love. Dream. Have the courage to dream your big dream. This is my crystal ball that got clouded when I put plant-based soap on it. I was cleaning it and it just went off. So anyway, I took the shine off, but it still is. I feel it in my hand. Sending you so much love. Thank you so much for joining me today. 
and if you're interested in if it's resonating at all to get those tools and the coaching on Sunday um, go to LorrainePurcell.com forward slash more dash of dash me I'm going to put it again in the comments dub 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 dot l o r r a i n e p u r s e l l dot com forward slash more dash of dash me and go ahead and register there um for breakthrough workshop breakthrough to freedom oh, that'd be a good title for a workshop breakthrough to freedom workshop because that's what I'm all about getting you to break through to your freedom to be freely you 100% freely you All right, my loves, take care. I will see you Sunday, I hope, and um, we'll talk soon. Bye. Sending love to you also. Thank you for sharing these beautiful messages. Thank you, Susan. You are so welcome. You are so welcome. It's my pleasure. Blessings, you all. Bye, Susan. Thanks for joining me today.